how many integral values n takes such that 10 comma 24 comma n forms an acute angle triangle this is the question in my previous video i discussed how to find the integral values of a third side if it forms a triangle now today i'll discuss what if the question is an acute angle triangle now we will solve the question in three steps step one step two step three step one we will check how many values n is taking if it forms a triangle step two we will also we will check what happens if n is the largest side step number three what if, what will happen if n is not the largest side three steps we will combine step one step two step three we will get the answer step one first it should form a triangle 10 comma 24 comma n should form a triangle for three sides should to form a triangle what should be the third side variable it should lie between the difference between two sides and sum of two sides so 24 minus 10 less than n less than 24 plus 10 that means 14 less than n less than 34 this is the domain of the variable n because it forms a triangle right step number two n the third side we don't know we will call it as the largest side now for our effective understanding of the concept what i'll do is i'll take it as a right angle triangle then what is a acute angle triangle theta should be less than 90 so what i do is first i'll take theta 90 and i'll find out the value then i'll make the necessary changes so what if n is the hypotenuse because n should be the largest side largest side in a right angle triangle is the hypotenuse 10 24 n draw a right angle triangle according to pythagorean triplet n square equal to 10 square plus 24 square so n square equal to 100 plus 576 n square equal to 676 n value will be 26 now listen carefully now the right angle triangle will become 10 24 26 now according to the question it is an acute angle triangle height will be like this n value 10 height will be like this this is for 90 if it is acute angled triangle theta should be less than 90 that means the height will move to the right side if the height is moving to the right side the hypotenuse value will decrease that means if it is a right angle triangle n is 26 if it is an acute angled triangle n will be less than 26 i hope it is clear step number three what is step number two n is the largest side step number three n is not the largest side so if n is not the largest side assume m to be an height if i take the n to be height the figure will become n 10 24 apply pythagorean triplet n square plus 10 square equal to 24 square n square equal to 576 minus 100 n square equal to 476 476 means n equal to 21 point something now again think logically this is n this is 10 and this is 24 in an acute angled triangle this height line will go to the right side if the value will go to the right side hypotenuse value will decrease but this value height value will increase if the height value is increasing that means n will be greater than 21 point something what are the three conditions that we got 14 less than n less than 34 what is the next value n is less than 26 what is the third value n is greater than 21 point something n is greater than 21 point something n is less than 26 what are all the values that will satisfy 22 23 24 25 for it to become an acute angled triangle i hope the concept is clear now after watching this video a viewer will get a doubt what will happen if the triangle is an obtuse angled triangle keep watching my next video to understand this concept very clearly keep watching anc youtube channel to solve aptitude problems faster than a calculator or without using a pen thanks a lot
subject, anywhere, any place and on the go. Come, let us go the other way in learning. Download our revolutionary app for free AMC.